Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a few techniques that you can use to slim up your figure in Adobe Photoshop. I like to call this the Photoshop diet. I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I uh, would like to do is make a couple copies of my background layer. So I'll take my background layer, I'll click and drag it into my new layer button down in my layers panel, or you can press Control J on your keyboard. Now you have two copies of your background layer. The next thing that I want to do is select my lasso tool over on my toolbar and I'll click and hold if it's not the one on top and I'll uh, select the regular lasso tool. I want to make a kind of a loose selection outside of my figure maybe a half an inch or a little bit less around the outside of my figure. I'll go ahead and do that. I have my selection. Next thing I want to do is go up to the top to edit down to Puppet Warp. Uh, this is kind of a unique step. Um, in some of the tutorials that I've seen, um, I haven't seen people really do this so much. And that's kind of why I decided to do this tutorial. Um, as you can see now, I'm setting anchors around the outside of my figure. The more anchors you set here, the better, because it's going to maintain the integrity of the background. Uh, when we uh, use this warp tool, it will actually warp the area of your selection and it can make a hard line, which I will try to show you in a little bit, but I'm not anticipating too much of a difference. But the reason that we want to use this is to kind of shrink the entire image figure down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm making selections on the inside of the figure here just a few where I know I want to bring in these areas a little bit. Kind of the fewer uh, anchors you can get away with on the inside is better. <clears throat> More on the outside and less on the actual figure. Okay, so now uh, once I have some of these, uh, these anchors ready to go, I'll just click and drag them in a little bit. And you can add uh, anchors in while you're working if you want. Just added one in there. Um, it might make some of these areas a little wavy, but like I said, the, the main goal of this is to just kind of shrink up the, the entire figure a little bit. I kind of like using this because I feel like it's uh, a little bit more forgiving than the liquify tool, which we actually will be using in a little bit. But uh, one thing you want to do is you kind of want to move these things straight over to the left or to the right. Or, uh, in this case, no, probably still to the left or to the right is probably the best. Or a little bit up and down is okay. Okay, um, and I think that's about as much as I want to do with this tool. Um, looks like the legs could still use a little bit of work, but maybe we'll liquefy those here in a little bit. Okay, so I'll click my arrow on my tool palette, and it's going to ask me if I want to apply, and I'll click Apply. As you can see, we've already shrunk up the image quite a bit. I'll uh, make my selection go away by selecting my marquee tool in my tool palette and clicking off to the side somewhere. Uh, there's a little bit of an edge, so I'll zoom in and show you that if you can see it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it so much in the video. Um, okay, so I zoomed in on that, and I just used the zoom tool on the toolbar there. And there's a little edge here, so what I'd do here is I'll grab my clone stamp tool, I'll set it to about 40 pixels up at the top and the hardness to zero. And what I'll do is I'll make a selection right next to the area with the hard edge and I'll just kind of click away that hard edge. And that's just gone now. I'm going to do the same on the left side if it's over there. It is a little bit, so I'll just do that. And that's pretty good. Um, I'm not even going to check around the rest of the figure. You certainly should, but I'm not going to. It doesn't look like it was uh, too bad. So just make one last one here I just saw. Okay, um, <clears throat> then the next thing that I want to do is I want to merge these two layers back together. Um, but let me show you why I actually I made the two copies of the layer because of this. Uh, when we did that warp, we do lose some of the image in that uh, in that the image that we warped, and that's why we uh, we made two copies so that we can kind of blend them together. But now that we're done with that, I'm going to select both by holding Shift on the keyboard and selecting both. Go up to Layer and down to Merge Layers and merge those two layers back together, <clears throat> and they're one uh, one nice layer again. Next thing I want to do is click on my zoom tool and zoom in on the, the next area that I know that I want to try to fix. Okay, 
Uh, and in this case, it's going to be the back. And uh, with that, the, the active layer is still selected. I want to click my polygonal lasso tool, and uh, I, I need to click and hold again to select my polygonal lasso tool. I'll go right underneath the hair. And what I want to do is I want to make a selection of the way that I want the contour of the back to look. So I'm going to make a nice curvy contour. I'm just clicking every once in a while to kind of save the integrity of that, um, that contour that I want. <clears throat> so now I have that selection. I want to click the clone stamp tool on the toolbar. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer for this. And we'll call it um, clone, just for now. You can come up with something better. But uh, I'm going to do that. And then eventually, if, uh, if all this cloning works out and looks good, I'm going to merge uh, the clone layer and the background copy layer back together. <clears throat> so I have my clone stamp selected on my new layer. Of the size of the brush, I want to make it to around probably 20 pixels or so, and the hardness is going to be stay at zero. Um, I have uh, all layers selected up here, and if you create a new layer, it's essential that you have that uh, all layers selected up at the top. I'll make a selection close to the area that I want to brush away by pressing Alt on the keyboard and clicking, and then I'll simply just brush in this contour line that we just created and I'm actually just brushing away the fat right now. Might need to make a couple selections, but then do that. And then uh, next thing I'll do is I'll select my marquee tool and click off. You'll see we have a nice contour line right around the edge there. But we still have a roll of fat right here, so uh, what I need to do is grab my polygonal lasso tool, and go around that same contour. The only difference is this time I'm going to go to the inside. I'll select my uh, my, br uh, my clone stamp tool, and I'll make a selection. I might make my brush a little smaller for this area since it's a smaller area. Maybe I'll make it around 12 pixels. I think that'll work. Uh, and I'll make my selection. I'll press Alt and click to make my selection pretty close to the area. And I'll just brush away the fat. Might need to make a few selections here. Um, Make a few selections close to the area that I want to brush away. And then once I get uh, get some of the, the area brushed away, I might make my brush a little bigger once again. And uh, make another selection. Just kind of blend these areas together, if you will. Okay, now that's looking pretty good. Okay, so uh, there's a little white spot here. I think it's a little bit, bit of water. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Um, there's a few of them. Uh, and if I want to get rid of that, I can clone stamp it away. Or uh, I'm going to take the healing brush tool. Make sure prox proximity match is uh, up at the top and sample all layers is also selected. My brush size is uh, around 6 pixels. It just needs to be larger than that spot. And the hardness is set to around 75. And that's just so I can make sure I get that spot taken care of. And I'm just going to click on those spots a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clone stamp it because it didn't work quite the way I wanted to. Uh, you may have just heard my, my dog there. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other side. I'm just going to do it real quick because essentially you, uh, you've learned what you need to learn with that technique. So I'm going to do the other side just real quick so we can get on to um, the next part of this tutorial. And if you make a, a selection that you don't like, just click off of it and uh, redo your selection. So I'm going to just make a selection here of the contour that I want. Once again, just doing the exact same thing I just did, just on the other side. Grab my clone stamp, grab a selection close to the area I want to brush away, and brush away the fat. Okay, grab a little selection there, and get rid of that. Grab my marquee tool, click off of it, and now you have a nice contour on that side. It's looking pretty good. I want to get rid of this roll of fat too, so I'm going to get rid of that real quick. And then I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool. I'm going to zoom in there, zoomed in a little too much. 
and grab my clone stamp and I don't need to make a selection here because it's actually on the in interior of the image and I don't need to kind of maintain the integrity of the, uh, the edge so I'm just gonna make selections and just kind of brush away that uh, that crease and if you get a little extra in there that you don't want just you know clone stamp it away it's fine you can clone stamp as much as you want just be a little careful that you're not uh, that it's not obvious that you've clone stamped that uh, you've copied areas from other areas for instance if I copied from this area and put it over here you'd see the white spots you want to be careful about that uh, and just real quick I'm gonna make this shadow in the middle of the back a little lighter so I'll make a selection pretty close to the, the edge of the shadow and I'm gonna take my opacity of my clone stamp tool down to 50 because I just want I don't want to cover up the shadow I just want to uh, soften it up a little bit I'm just gonna go over it a little bit I might need to make another selection and just go over the shadow a little bit and by softening this up she will look less fat because it's going to be less uh, cavernous if that's a word <laughs> okay so I've softened that up. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and go on to the next part of this tutorial, which is going to be the liquify. Um, oh, actually, uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, merge these two layers together, like we did before. Select both, go up to layer, down to merge layers, and uh, merge them together. Then what I want to do is do that liquify step that I was just talking about. So we'll go up to filter, down to liquify, and this uh, it's taking a couple seconds here. Sorry about that. Um, what we're going to do here is kind of just go over some of the things that we've we've already done and just kind of um, just kind of uh, reiterate what we've already done. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, zoom in on the area that we're working on once again, and I'm going to grab that uh, the forward warp tool, which is just the top tool. I'm going to leave my settings to default, and you can copy those if you want. And I'm just going to bring that contour in a little bit just to make sure she keeps her curviness do it on the other side as well make her look nice and skinny might bring that bikini line down a little bit definitely pull it up in the, the buttocks area and you can kind of make this curve more pronounced and this curve less pronounced um, where you want to and more pronounced where you want to as well and bring in some of these areas that didn't get puppet warped but you are still gonna need to come in and um, and do that all the clone stamping along the legs and the rest of the body alright now that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and just do the arm but uh, essentially this tutorial is done now um, as you can see some of this uh, this liquify does kinda of some pretty cool things you can. This is also where, if you wanted to enhance the breasts, you could do that, um, or you could shrink them up a little bit with the rest of the body. Um, actually, shrinking them probably makes a little bit more sense. I know you guys out there probably want to enhance them. Okay, I'll click OK. Anyway, let me show you what we did there with the liquify tool, but uh, but this tutorial is over. <clears throat> so this is what we had before the liquify. This is what we had after. And that's uh, you just continue to do that until this image looks, you know, like a model. Um, I'll show you what we started with. Yeah, let me uh, zoom in a little bit because I didn't really do the bottom half of the body. I just did the upper half, uh, and I didn't even really do the butt that much. Um, okay, so let me show you what we started with. We started with that, and we're ending with that. And so she's had her Photoshop diet, and she's a little bit happier now. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Um, please, if you did, click the like button on YouTube. And uh, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. And uh, please watch my other videos. And thank you for watching this one.